Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to install SQL Server 2005 in your local machine. Uh, in my home I have very old computer and it doesn't support latest version of SQL Server like SQL 2008 and latest versions. So even if the system configuration supports I don't want to install latest versions because uh, it consumes a lot of disk space and while using SQL Server system will become very slow. So I am planning to install SQL 2005 here in my home computer. So I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server 2005. First go to Google and then type SQL Server Management Studio 2005 and click on the first link, the Microsoft link. So from here download the exe file. I prefer downloading it from the Microsoft site directly because it's genuine. So after installation is completed, click on the exe file. And here it threw me an error saying that MS XML6 is missing. So I'm installing that software now. Here I am downloading MS XML6 and installing in my machine now. As you can see here, I download all softwares from Microsoft site only. This is MS XML6 uh, installation file, exe file. After this software is installed, once again I am trying to install SQL Server Management Studio. Now I got an error saying uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0 is prerequisite and it is missing in my local machine. So now I'm downloading Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0. If you have all these softwares already in your machine, it will not throw any error. Uh, it will directly install SQL Server Management Studio. So here I'm downloading Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0. And when I try to install .NET Framework 2.0, it told me an error saying that window, Windows Installer is missing. So now again I am installing Windows Installer. So these are all the prerequisites for Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm trying to download Windows installer here. After you install Windows installer, you need to restart your computer. After restarting the computer, I will install Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0 again. This is done. Now I am installing .NET Framework 2.0. Now I have all the required softwares for Management Studio 2005 all the prerequisite softwares so I'm installing management studio 2005 now just click on this uh, exe file and follow the steps that I'm showing here in the feature selection tab select this feature and all sub features option and proceed further
After Management Studio is installed, go to the Start Microsoft SQL Server 2005 and SQL Server Management Studio. So this will open the SQL Server Management Studio. When we when you click on the server name and browse in the local server tabs, you don't find any server. So which means SQL Server Management Studio will not create any local server so using SQL Server Management Studio you can just connect to the remote server with the valid credentials but it will not create a local server in your machine if you want a local server as well you need to install SQL Server 2005 Express Edition in my next video I'll show you how to install Express Edition 2005 thanks for watching this video have a good day bye